Welcome to another episode of History's Treasures, where we say out with the new and in with the old. Today's document is the Lend-Lease Act of 1941. This piece of legislation was inspired by events that occurred in July 1940, when the German Navy sunk 11 British ships over 10 days. This event caused British Prime Minister Winston Churchill to ask United States President Roosevelt for assistance. A deal was struck where 50 destroyers would be traded for 99-year land leases on Air Force and Navy bases in the Caribbean and Newfoundland. This started a U.S. foreign policy debate on whether to give military help to the British or not. Republican isolationists in Congress were a group that didn't want to have anything to do with the Second World War. They said they shouldn't have done this because it would snowball into getting into the war altogether. Democrats, however, were happy with this bill. They wanted to stay loyal to FDR. After two months of debate, Congress and the Senate passed the Lend-Lease Act, which made it possible for the U.S. to give Britain military aid while remaining officially neutral. The total vote count in Congress was 317 yeas to 71 nays, while in the Senate, it was 61 yeas to 31 nays. Without this bill, the outcome of the Second World War might have changed. People in Britain may be drinking beer instead of tea because England might have been conquered by Germany. Thanks for watching another episode of History's Treasures.